Hey folks, so I just got in from uh, filming a video walking through our pastures and uh, talking about the rain that we just started to get uh, and how awesome that is <laughs> with the drought situation that we've been having and the impact of our management style on how that has affected our farm during this drought and how how grateful we are. Uh, but not to drone on too much about that video, I had actually something super, super awesome happen. Um, I do not expect this to happen ever, uh, which is what made this so, so amazing for me. Um, so one of you viewers, uh, Mike Kirkpatrick, thank you so, so much for this. Um, so he'd sent me an email and was asking some questions about some stuff and to drop some suggestions um, from the way video. And he'd had a few other questions about um, some interesting stuff, ideas of feeding uh, Asian carp to pigs. Um, and we went into some detail about that. I don't think it would work with IPPs because IPPs don't eat meat. I don't like, I've had issues or, and I, honestly with carp because we have a weird infestation of koi in our pond. Um, it wouldn't be an infestation for the fact that they muddy up the bottom of my pond and just make it look less than pleasant. Um, we can go into that later, but I, there's also bluegill out there and fishing for bluegill, I foul hooked a carp. Um, Koi carp. They're the angel tail, which are actually like hybrids with Asiatic carp um, and all that craziness. But so threw it out on the bank and uh, the pigs just gave it a sniff and ignored it, let it rot. So our old pigs, Berkshire, Durox and such, they would have gone to town on it, I know, because we used to throw um, like clean fish grass and go fishing and stuff like that out in the field and things like that. You know, just pig slop and they would go to town on it. The IPPs don't care at all one way or the other. I've seen snakes go across, they wouldn't touch. Our old pigs would catch and eat snakes, um, mice, voles, rabbits. These don't care. I kill deer literally have nests in farrowing yards with our sows and they don't touch them. Our old pigs used to relish any time there were eggs that were accidentally, heaven forbid, laid in that paddock, um, either chicken or wild bird. So interesting thing, but that you know, the IVPs just don't seem to really care for that. Um, but in our talks about the way, he brought up some good points and things I'd like to touch on. Um, the first being that awesome thing I was just alluding to. So he sent me a package to try and help out, um, which was awesome. Uh, sadly, it won't, but I'd like to go into detail on that. So he sent me this. Um, just as a not me asking it, I'll use just like, hey, I sent you a thing, hopefully it helps. Um, which is amazing. I was kind of, you know, skeptical, like, oh, this random person on the internet sending me something, but he did. He sent it to the farm's address, um, and it's a nozzle for a two-inch bung to thread into barrels. Um, and while I don't think I can use it for what I'm doing, I don't think it'll really help for that for a current way situation, I do have some future projects that I think this will actually help a ton for, um, fingers crossed, featuring an IBC tote in the future. So, it might help with this, and I'm gonna put it in storage with the rest of my uh, farm project stuff and make a list of that. Um, the reason why I don't think this will work is because the way the barrels currently work, you know, they're standing, they come out of the back of the truck. If you've watched that video, you know, I draw them down, store them in the barn, and then have to lean them over. To do that, if I took the time to thread this into, if it was a 55 gallon drum and it was sideways, maybe greater, even if it was just the the 15s sideways, um, then it would work great and you know, just open it up and go. But as is, if I thread this on the top and lean out, like first off, I take off the bung, thread this in, I'm now gonna thread this in and still lean the barrel over and still manhandle it to lean it over to get it to come out. And I've now added this extra distance. It would, some of the more pain in the butt bungs, maybe catch and make a lip where they don't, but it's gonna increase by, was that's probably like, four to six inches. Um, I probably could have said four to six inches, but I just wanted to see if it was six inches. It looks like it's closer to four, maybe five. Um, so that angle then is gonna reduce the amount that I can pour out because as is, shortening that lever essentially gets more of it to come out. This would increase it and let less come out. Um, so I don't think it'll work for that um, to make it easier. If there was ever a method of me unloading the barrels to where they lay down flat, like if I built a rack to scooch them off onto um, so that they were laid down sideways, but then I couldn't get the bung on. 
um, without like rotating them up and trying to thread it in real quick or threading it in and then lifting the barrels out sideways. So at the moment, this won't work, uh, but like I said, hopefully future project, because that's exciting um, to be able to just like have something to work with. So thank you a ton, Mike Kirkpatrick. Like this, while I can't use it, I am so excited. Like that just, the fact that you guys like my videos enough that you sent me something, I'm just like freaking out here. Like that's amazing, thank you. Um, but then some of the things that he had said, and I had a couple other people reach out about like, um, the idea of using a flat utility trailer to go pick up our way so that I'm not having to attempt to pick up those 140 something pound barrels and set them in there. Uh, especially you can see that last barrel I loaded kind of got me. It didn't, it, it, they don't, bleh. that one doesn't have a handle on the bottom. So it's I really got like bear hug it and work it funny. And I had thrown out my wrist that week. So, um, so the idea of using a utility trailer, especially since those ones have the ones with the ramps on the back, um, so that would be a great idea. And if I was getting um, spent brewer's grains, because those usually come in 55 gallon barrels, I'd have to. Um, with this, they're about 45 minutes to an hour away. Not oh, 45 minutes, I'd say, 40, 45. Um, it would be, with current gas prices, a little bit prohibitive to drive our Tacoma out there. Um, Tacoma's, they pull trailers, obviously. It's why we bought that new trailer, and it's great. Um, and we have access to a yield utility trailer with a ramp, so I could do it. Like it wouldn't be, you know, an extra expense for me to go out and buy a trailer. I have a tr utility trailer with a ramp. It's what we used to use to haul pigs. I still need to take the cattle panels off the sides now, um, but I could use that. But with the distance and the gas mileage for these barrels currently, um, and then one of the aspect, the hill that we come in on to get to them is, it's gravel, um and it's rough it is a rough gravel hill um I, we used to go down there for their cheese nights and stuff and it was in our little car not our we've currently got a rat four and it does great but our little car would always scrape and grumble and i was just like oh um but it's just like it's like this and it's gravel so i don't want to deal with trying to pull a trailer up and down with our truck if it's even slightly wet um just taking our truck up and down sometimes i have to throw it in four-wheel drive um to get in and out of there so I don't want to deal with trying to haul a trailer down that hill. So first the gas cost of getting that trailer out there um, and then trying to make it up and down that hill with that. And it's kind of a tight spot to back in with the trailer. It's totally doable. Um, I, I pull trailers around all the time. So like I'm thoroughly confident in my ability to move a trailer around. It's just more than I want to try to hassle with. Um, currently, I'm just going to continue to perfect my squat technique and work on my lift ability <laughs> rather than try to deal with the hassles of getting a trailer in and out and up and down that hill and the gas cost. Um, maybe one day, but for now, I'm gonna just rely on my youth. Um, and then it would be easier to use a dolly to unload them if I'd had that trailer, right? If that, if that was the route I ever decided to go, I would then use a dolly to unload too and it'd make unload easier, but the unloading is just a careful drop, you know, like I'm going to slowly set it down, but in the end, if it drops an extra six inches, it's as long as the barrel's in good condition, it's not a big deal. Um, I think that was the last of the thing was, uh, somebody pointed out specific, uh, dollies for barrels. Um, we use just a normal dolly at the moment. Um, and they do make special dollies for barrels for moving them around. But then that's kind of a like one and done thing. Like it's only useful for barrels for the most part, uh, cause we're specially designed for it to be the best that they can. Our current dolly works uh, and it's useful for other things. I can pick up my welder and haul my welder out to where our 220 outlet is. Eventually I'll build a little shed so that I don't have to keep hauling that back and forth. Um, but then also to haul up big things of lumber and stuff like that. So I like having items on the farm that are multi-use versus very, the more, uh, niche and item and tool gets the less useful it becomes because then I have to store it um, Among the very little storage that we've got our barn is kind of a nightmare and I need to I need to work on getting now that um, I'm actually I'm full-time on the farm again. I quit my town job So I am at the end of this coming week here. I am just working on the farm so farm and doing some uh, side hustle projects um, Which just bounces on to my homestead craftsman Instagram page. That's my personal one um, 
So I'm doing a bunch of jack of all trades stuff for folks and I'll be throwing it on there, maybe creating a new YouTube channel just for that because it's not really farm related. Um, so I'll probably clean up the barn and help do that. And that'll give some more farm storage space. Same as in the shop, I'll get a little bit more storage space, but having a lot of specialty tools like that is not, not really gonna be that helpful. Um, so we'll just stick with this, the normal dolly for now on that. Um, yeah, I think that hits most of the things that folks had had questions on with that that didn't get answered in the video because there was a one or two comments that were that asked a question and then they watched the rest of the video. So, yeah, I just, I'm super excited about that. Like this, like I said, well, I can't use it for that right now, I don't think, without finding a way to put it on and then lift the barrel up sideways, so adding more manhandling. Um, I've got some other projects that I go use this for. Um, I in no way expect people to ever send me stuff. Uh, so know that, like, but if you do, that's amazing. Um, so your support's been pretty great. Uh, if you don't already subscribe to our channel and you think that this content is useful, now like, I always say that if you think this content is useful to you, I in no way think that I just deserve your subscription. I only want you to ever subscribe to our channel if you think that my videos are beneficial to you. If this is useful to you, and it's worth your time to get that little ding notification or email notification that I put out a new video, then subscribe. Because I want this to be as helpful as possible. If you think that I just ramble on a bunch or that I don't hit topics that you think, which one, just drop a comment and tell me and I'll make videos that suit that. Like that's, I want this to be educational and useful to you. Um, but if you don't and it's not your thing, like go watch a different video, find somebody that does. There's so much cool stuff out there on YouTube right now. Um, and if you like this type of content that I'm putting out at any point, uh, I feel like I hit a pretty broad spectrum of stuff. Um, if you like it, hit a like on that video because the videos that get the most likes are the ones that I start to create more content of because I know that it's the most useful to my current audience and I want to be as useful as possible to y'all. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, catch you guys next time.